In this video, we will go over the operation of the auger system from 3D Potter. The auger can be loaded manually by hand or can be fed by a hose and pump system. Before printing, the system needs to be primed. This can be done with the Prime program under G-code files, or you can use the manual motor driver. Once material is coming out, turn off the motor driver, or press the emergency stop button in the printer interface. Make sure that the main extruder wire is connected to the motor. As an alternative, you can keep the motor driver plugged in to manually control the extrude rate during the print. If your material is reusable, it can be put back into the auger or storage. When the print starts, confirm that the extruder speed is moving at your desired flow rate. Lowering the print speed also makes the extruder slow down to match it. To increase or decrease the extrude rate, use the extrusion slider setting. While the print is moving at slow speeds, you can make adjustments to the nozzle height if it is needed. Once you have a good flow rate and nozzle height, you can increase the print speed. We will cover all of the auger speed settings in a different video, linked in the description below. Now we will cover the cleaning operation for the auger system. The nozzle and nozzle adapter may need to be taken off first in order to safely remove the auger. You can then lift the auger system out of the distal arm. In this video, we used an adobe clay mixture, so water is okay to use to clean the auger. Here is the full cleaning process. Be careful to not get the motor wet. Please check the video description for printer operation tutorials.